We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has improved the ability to predict fluctuations in the rotation of the Earth and with it, the length of the day. Stood at ease, we travel restlessly through the stillness of space, apprenticed nomads blindsided by the fluctuations of our approach. Motions exchange from roving ground to troubled sky, every push a pull, every pull a push. Spinning, whirling, bending, skewing, twisting, buckling, writhing, spewing, each imperfection a knowing tell to future days and coming nights. Rotating into sight by the subtle projections of our ceaseless, sleepless thoughts. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Nature Geoscience, which has found a key breakthrough in the quest to accurately predict fluctuations in the rotation of the Earth, and so the length of the day, potentially opening up new predictions for the effects of climate change. Geodesy is the science of accurately measuring and understanding three fundamental properties of the Earth, its geometric shape, its orientation in space, and its gravity field, as well as the changes of these properties with time. Similarly, the angular momentum of the Earth is defined as the movement of its mass when it is rotating or spinning, a property that is fundamental to the structure and variability of the atmosphere, and which therefore has an important influence on both regional weather and climate. The total atmospheric angular momentum is also directly related to the rotation rate of the Earth, and hence, the length of day. As the Earth spins around its axis, its overall mass and rotation result in what appears to be a steady rotation. However, Surface wind changes and variations in high and low pressure patterns can alter this, and if the atmosphere speeds up due to stronger winds, the Earth's rotation consequently slows down, causing the length of day to increase. In this new study, researchers use state-of-the-art mathematical modelling to show how fluctuations in the length of the day can be predicted more than a year in advance, which is significantly longer than had previously been possible. Given the links between angular momentum and climate, This method also provides a source of long-range predictability from within the atmosphere, as well as a firm link between geodesy and climate prediction. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Stood at ease we travel restlessly through the stillness of space, apprentice nomads blindsided by the fluctuations of our approach. Motions exchanged from roving ground to troubled sky, every push a pull, every pull a push. Spinning, whirling, bending, skewing, twisting, buckling, writhing, spewing, each imperfection a knowing tell to future days and coming nights. Rotating into sight by the subtle projections of our ceaseless, sleepless thought. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Days by Philip Larkin. Philip Larkin was a British poet who was born in Coventry, England in 1922. He earned his BA from St John's College, Oxford, and after graduating, undertook professional studies to become a librarian. Larkin published four critically acclaimed collections of poetry in his lifetime, including The Lester Sieve, published in 1955, 
The Whitson Weddings, published in 1964, and High Windows, published in 1974. His many honours include the Queen's Gold Medal for Poetry, and he was also offered, but declined, the position of Poet Laureate in 1984, following the death of Sir John Betjeman. Larkin died in 1985 at the age of 63, and was buried at Cottingham Municipal Cemetery, near Hull. Days, by Philip Larkin. What are days for? Days are where we live, they come, they wake us, time and time over, they are to be happy in. Where can we live but days? Ah, solving that question brings the priest and the doctor in their long coats, running over the fields. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.